This is the Lexar thing, NM610. M.2. Wow, what a difference. The prices are coming down on a lot of these and there's some new ones coming to the market that have a nice low price point. And that's what we have right here with this Lexar NM610. And the reason for that is this is a one terabyte drive, by the way. You can get them in 256, 512, and one terabyte. I haven't seen a two yet, but maybe they'll make one. But the reason that you can get them at such a reasonable price is because normally you'd have some, some RAM on board. And they've determined that by putting a buffer on board instead and then letting Windows allocate a little bit of RAM for this, you can actually get similar speeds, not quite as fast, but similar speeds that's uh, like a really good price to performance ratio. So what I did in this video is I decided to put this up against my standard Intel P600 that I've had for a while and it just, you know, it's a good price um, and it's kind of like a standard that you see out there all the time, but it's also in a similar price point to this one. So this might be a little bit better actually, depending on where you go to, to, to pick it up. This is PCI Express Gen 3 by 4 so it's not the by four by four, but those are way more expensive and super fast and available on AMD X570 and similar motherboards. This uses 3D TLC NAND flash memory. And the controller is the SM2263 XT that we've seen, I think since 2017 or 2018, I think it was when it really, uh, a lot of drives started coming out with that one, but they're advertising a three year warranty, 1.5 million hours. Also they're advertising an operating temperature of zero to 70 Celsius. And I also did some temperature checks for you. When it idles, it's just idling in the 30s. So now when it comes to the different speeds, they advertise up to 2100 megabytes per second on the read and 1600 uh, megabytes per second on the right. And we'll check that out in just one second. Last thing I want to mention is this is an 80 millimeter drive, so should fit in most modern motherboards. Let's start off with a little AS SSD benchmark. And as you can see here, this one's uh, sequentials. Got 911 versus Intel 1743. And then you can see on the right there, the Intel was slightly ahead, but very slightly, like we're talking like 40 megabytes a second or so ahead, maybe 40, 50. And then as you can see back and forth, the Intel's a little faster here, the Lexar is a little faster here, but overall the score for the Lexar was 2783 versus Intel's score of 2418. So even though the Intel won a couple of those tests, this is faster uh, and it's gonna be a little snappier overall, but very similar for both of them. All right, in Crystal Mark, Look at the score on the Lexar. The Lexar is on the left there. Um, so close to that 2100 advertised speed, but yeah, 2097 on the read and 1696, so even higher than advertised speeds on the right. So I like those. And when you look at the Intel, the write speeds are nowhere near as high as this. This has a much higher write speed. Um, and I find the Crystal Mark usually gives you a more true to your experience test uh, than a lot of different things. So. Again, we did the performance test with Passmark, just in doing the you know the disk benchmark. And as you can see there, quite a bit faster. Actually, this is a lot faster. ASSSD was the only test so far that Intel was even within striking distance of the Lexar. So I, I didn't actually expect it to be that much faster. And lastly, let's take a look at Addo disk benchmark. This is usually a, a weird test because some of the data is compressed, but you know, looking at the two, it's interesting, the Intel tops out right in the middle, which is a very strange thing to do. Very, very strange. But overall, again, um, the Lexar is gonna be faster. And lastly, I used Crystal Disk Info to just grab some temperature readings after a long test. I did pass mark because that test is like the longest test that I know of. And I did it right after doing Crystal Mark. So did Crystal Mark, no wait, straight into pass mark, and then when that's almost finished, I looked at the temperature and it was only 51 degrees Celsius. So yeah, pretty good drive. And I also want to mention that that's without a heat sink. You know, I've got a board over here that has some heat sinks built in and stuff, and I left those off. So that's what it's going to be like without a heat sink. And if you're going to be running this with uh, an aftermarket heat sink or with a motherboard that has like one of those shields and some thermal pads on it, you might get even better performance there. So what you have is a very good drive for the money and a lot of performance for the money you're gonna be spending. So I'm gonna go to set that twice, but two different ways. Now, of course, it's not gonna be as fast as the Gen 4x4, or it's not gonna be as fast as some of the drives out there that have the built-in RAM, but you're still gonna get a lot of performance out of this drive. And if you're someone who's coming from a spinning hard drive, like an old school hard drive, or if you're coming from even an SSD, you will notice a bump up in speed. Um, from a regular SSD, it may not seem extreme. You know, when just when you're doing normal stuff in Windows, 
the access times are going to be somewhat similar and stuff, especially if you have a you know SSD that has the RAM on board. But this is going to be faster, and that's just the bottom line. What I would do is the Lexar right now. Um, it's built really well. And it's got a nice build of materials. So I would you know look at this one if the price is right. Go ahead and grab that up. It's definitely faster than the Intel. But I'm also going to be looking at some other drives because there's like a, a few more coming onto the market right now that look nice. I wouldn't hesitate. I put this right in my system. So nice drive. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and put those down in the comments. And be sure to head over to epicpants.com. Grab a one of these gaming mice before they're all gone. And uh, get a t-shirt one. Maybe a mouse pad or whatever else. See you guys in the comments.